kung fu fighter Ren Ruji regularly takes on an opponent five times his weight. This is a Chinese form of bullfighting. Unlike what you'd find in Spain, there are no swords or killing. In these matches, wrestlers grab a bull's horns and pull up until the animal topples over. Only a few fighters take on the sport here in the small Chinese city of Chaoxing. Ren says his career of choice worries his mother, but he claims he's never been hurt. Inside the ring, I see the bull as my adversary, but outside the ring, I treat him like a friend or fellow warrior. Why? Because we are often together, performing together on the same stage. Once inside the ring, fighters have three minutes to take the bull down. Bullfighting dates back centuries in China, a tradition of the Hui minority. But Ren's coach Han Haihua is credited with turning it into a sport and adding in the kung fu. Han says he's trained hundreds of bullfighters. He describes his mix of martial arts and wrestling as explosive power. What do I mean by explosive power? In a flash. <laughs> In a short moment, concentrate all your power on one point and wrestle it to the ground. But where Han sees a proud tradition, animal rights activists see cruel entertainment. Yes, it is true that there is blood and gore in Spanish bullfighting, and it's certainly very violent. But in Chinese bullfighting, we cannot deny that during this process, the bulls experience pain. There are certainly physical and psychological effects on them. Han denies his high-impact technique is cruelty. He claims the animals are specially trained, even taught their own moves, and says they're better treated than bulls in Spain.